I really want to talk about this feed route in this game. Class of 09 has many unanswered questions. What happened to all the students after graduation? What happens to Nicole's family? What happened to all the teachers that were trying to raise up the female students that were underage? We thought this game had all the answers to these questions. This game truly was... The flip side. To start off, one major change to this game is that instead of Nicole, we have Jekka as the protagonist. Jekka doesn't have a stable relationship with her parents. They are getting divorced and Jekka's father implements new rules, such as that Jekka has to pay for a lot of bills herself. And if she doesn't... I swear if you don't shut up, I will throw your ass out on the street! Okay, just stop yelling! Jekka then tries to apply for a job. She finds out that everyone in the class of 09 now has a job, except Kyler because he's an idiot. Well, like 50% of women not even report crimes or whatever? Yeah, so? So if I punch you in the neck, flip a coin, bitch. Jeffrey, who is the source of all evil in this feed route, which I'll come back to later, works now at a bookstore. Emily is still a thief but now works at a restaurant but doesn't pay her taxes. And Kelly works at a DVD store but still gets harassed by her old gym teacher. Now, back to Jeffrey. Did you say feet? Because Jeffrey is deprived of female touch. He literally offers money to let Jekka step on him. Oh, hey Jekka, what's up? Please don't get near this. Oh, okay. You know, little feet in the game never hurt anyone. Right? Kill yourself, but these size 6 feet are so cute. Size 7. Are you sure? They feel like a size 6. I think I'd be the expert here. You see, this scene would have been bearable if it didn't last two minutes. What was the creator sniffing? I mean, Toast probably. While creating this game. There are so many unanswered questions that you chose to make a foot simulator. You could have literally made a route about Jekka's parents getting divorced. That would have been 10 times more interesting. Anyway, Jekka gets fired for coming late at work four times in a row. Jekka still has enough of an income because there are still boys and want to be stepped on by her. Size seven? Are you sure? They seem like a six. For context, this is the same dude that killed his mom for Jekka. I thought it over and I killed my mom. Jekka gets richer and richer and is able to buy a lot of fancy things. Even though Jekka makes a lot of money now, her dad still isn't satisfied. I'll smack the shit out of Don't you! Hit me. <laughs> That's nice, dear. Have fun at work tomorrow. But obviously, Nicole isn't that stupid. She gets suspicious and grabs Jekka's phone. Who's foot loser one? Everyone is gonna act so out of character from this point onward. Nicole wants to come along with you, but if you choose not to share the revenue with her, she gets petty and goes into this foot business solo. But one of her customers will be Jekka's dad. Wait, Nicole? Oh no, she caught us. Why the fuck are your toes in his mouth? This is so out of character of Nicole. In Class of 09 and in the re-up, Nicole literally committed crimes to protect Jekka. She literally committed crimes together with Jekka. She literally harassed and bullied people to death for Jekka. And now... <laughs> ten years she throws petty insults left and right and we don't see her for the majority of the route anymore. The thing that baffles me is on how Jekka and Nicole were so close in the previous two games, but one minor inconvenience, one thing that inconveniences Nicole, and boom, she turns to Jekka. If you haven't clicked off this video yet, you will surely click off after watching this one minute scene. Mm -hmm. I love these supple feet. Wow, yeah, cool. Do you lactate where milk comes out of your beautiful pussy? You make such a cute mommy. Hey, hey, kissing's extra. My first kiss, by the way, just now with your feet. Oh, yeah, that's pretty fucking sad. I tried my best to avoid thinking about you while I used my hands. Is that extra, too? Uh, how would I even enforce that? I swear I won't do it without paying you after. Seriously? How's 50 bucks a load sound? With all this context, it gets even worse because now Jekka's old teacher, Birthday, fuck Mr. Birthday, <laughs> approached her. For context, Jekka's information got leaked on some foot firm, and now every foot guy is trying to approach her and trying to lowball her. 300. But no, leave! Okay, 400. 400 to kiss your toes? I'm not haggling, just go home! Okay, screw it. 800, final offer. Kiss me. Kyler's presence is not really helping with Jekka's depression. From breaking photo labs to touching unconscious girls, Kyler doesn't really have a good reputation. I'm gonna go beat up a deaf person. 
She goes to free therapy, but Miss Thomas is not really amused after learning how much Jekka makes in a month with her foot services. Oh, shut the, fuck up. the presence of too many creeps overpower her, and she goes insane by the minute. It also raises questions about how Jeffrey gets this much money in such a short time. See, whenever I relieve myself thinking about Jekka, I have to pay her $50. Let me go to the ATM and get you $1,400. This guy blew a load to Jekka's feet 28 times in three days. Anyway, Jekka gives in and shares the revenue with Nicole. And at this point, it isn't a rejection shim anymore. This is just straight up a foot simulator with a targeted audience. Enjoy those feet, Piggy. Nicole! I think he likes it. Oh, I'm mommy's piggy. You're just a lonely little foot loser. Like you know my place in the world. Mm -hmm. And that place is right under our feet like a bug. Shit dialogue, shit storyline, having to rely on shock factors. And it gets even worse because now Nicole is trying to kill Jeffrey because she's bored. So you gonna entertain mommy? Jekka tries to contact Nicole and Jeffrey, but they both don't pick up their phones. So she gets suspicious and goes to Jeffrey's home. Fuck off, foot bitch. I gotta go check something. I feel so cold without the feet. She opens the door to Jeffrey's room and finds Nicole and Jeffrey dead on the ground. Nicole forcefully overdosed Jeffrey. Again, because she was bored and she wanted to know what would happen. Again, out of character for Nicole. This is practically a murder. What is this guy cooking? He's not... I can't believe you. What, you suddenly like him now? He was my best client, Nicole! If he's actually dead, that's $800 a month just gone! I thought I was a sociopath. Anyway, that was pretty much the feed rune in this game. There isn't that much to analyze. This is literally it. It, it's feet and that's it. It doesn't go any further than that. If you still haven't clicked off this video and watched till the end, this video truly was the flop side.